Hello there listeners, welcome to the Bullpen Podcast. Now before we get started, I'd just like to quickly talk about Buzzsprout. So over the years, myself and Jamie have worked incredibly hard and refined the Bullpen Podcast into the stylish cultural phenomenon that it is today. But none of this would have been possible without Buzzsprout. Buzzsprout as a platform allows us to upload our finished work and host it on major services such as Spotify, Amazon Music, iTunes and more. Simply put, without Buzzsprout, we would not have reached as many ears as we have. Once you sign up to Buzzsprout, you immediately get access to several hours worth of upload allowance a month, as well as an easy-to-navigate website and analytical data of every aspect of your podcast and all its listeners. If you sign up using our link in the podcast description, you'll find information on how to sign up and grab a $25 Amazon voucher courtesy of Buzzsprout. Buzzsprout is hands down the easiest way to get your podcast off the ground. Join over 100,000 podcasters getting their voices heard and sign up using our link today. I have I think I do, yeah. I think we're here. Do we do? Um, Shall we take it away? Shall we take it away, yeah. Um, Hello and welcome. Uh, ah, yeah. <laughs> came too early. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> Just gave me an account in and I came in on, on three. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> three? Yeah, we'll start again. I'm going to keep this in, by the way. Okay. Hello, Hello. and welcome. Good morning, good evening. Hello. Au revoir. Whatever. Good to see you again. Exactly. <laughs> but yeah, it's uh, good to get um, all two of us. Unfortunately, yeah. um, Thomas has succumbed to the real world and is uh, busy. So we thought we'd uh, give it a bash just the two of us. Just like he did Smith. ask us to keep quiet about the, uh, the hostage attempt, so we're not going to say okay. anything about that. No. no. Um, there is an ongoing investigation so we won't say anything no other than it sounded like a good old time <laughs> <laughs> it's not the first time either. no but there we go so this is a podcast about baseball um, usually I, yeah possibly um, but today we're going to dip our toes into something else aren't we we are indeed um, something that grips the the nation yes the, who will make the uh, curling team for the next winter Olympics <laughs> I've got one. my 18-man team. Yeah, no. Uh, Gregor McGregor. Um, and Curly McCurlison. Yeah, and Andy Peters. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Who would have seen that one coming? But well, there you go. Uh, I'd have said he was a shoe-in, to be honest. Yeah, yeah. They're, well, they're special shoes that they use to <laughs> glide on the ice. But there you go. Um, so what are we talking about today? Um... Baseball? Probably later. Probably later. Oh, yeah. I'm sure you've got plenty to say. Yeah, it's overrated. <laughs> Sick of hearing about it. Still don't get it. Yeah. <laughs> crazy, crazy times. Um, we are talking about the, uh, the European... Euro 2020. Yeah. The so, delayed tour. Yes. Yeah. I love it. For non-football fans. Yes. Or people that own a calendar. People may be asking, well, Euro 2020, if you're trying to predict it, just look at the results. Yeah. <laughs> it happened last year. What's the fuss? Yeah. Just like um, old Back to the Future 3, I want to say. Was it 2? Uh, it was 2, two. wasn't it? Because yeah, 3 was the, um, the Wild West, wasn't it? Yeah. The wicked Wild Wild West with Will Smith. Uh, it's a different film. A different film. <laughs> <laughs> I've... I know I forgot to do a Sigrid Bingo again, but today I've actually made two references to Will Smith songs. <laughs> I mean, is there time to pull the album up and uh, what? Well, go for it. Well, let's get Big Willie started out. Uh, let's get this up then. Yeah. Um, That's what she said, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> Big Willie, man. I think they're on the same album, aren't they? Uh, Spotify. Yeah. Really the obvious thing to do. Be, oh, Men in Black is on Big Willie Star. Uh, but just the two of us is. So. Yeah. 
There you go. Just trying to. Uh, we're going with Big, big Wiggly Starling? I think we ought to. Yeah. Um, I mean, we've already butchered the intro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I think we've already said don't say nothing as well. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Some of these are going to be quite fun to try and get yeah. naturally. But... Yeah, well, one of them you should be able to. Because you don't count out their marlins. <laughs> 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 but there you go. What do I know? Uh, just explain quickly what uh, Sigrid Bingo is. Um it is our attempt at. Uh, um, let me phrase it another way. Sometimes at at big football tournaments like we we're having at the moment, uh, some of the press conferences can be get a bit stale and a bit boring. So yeah. sometimes, as a bet, some of the players will try and sneak song titles in to an interview. So this is our attempt, and I think one of the first ones we did was a Sigrid album or cd or whatever i think uh, it was yeah, yeah. so therefore the yes so that's stuck and we've tried to do it most times apart from last time but hey we could only afford secret bingo or tom <laughs> 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 so unfortunately uh tom hasn't cut it today <laughs> <laughs> it was a yeah. difficult decision it was yeah we, we made up the decision and we thought Hey, let's do some uh, Big Willie style without Tom. Let's, let's also give Tom a break. He yeah. probably needs. I don't know. Why will we get jiggy with it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, how much, how much of the Euros have you watched? Um, the England Scotland game and most of the England, not England, the Scotland Croatia game because okay. I'm a rebel. I think this could be the first tournament for me that I've not, because usually with a World Cup or Euros, yeah, you're watching make Japan watch versus everything. Oman and things like that. Oh yeah, yeah. Iran in the grudge match against yeah. Switzerland. This you know. yeah, <laughs> exactly. I watch everything every game, yeah. but this is the first one where I've been like, well, mm, yeah, not if really. it's on, then I'm, yeah. I'll just check it on. Yeah, um, I've watched all the England games. Um, yeah, although I wish I'd not. No, <laughs> <laughs> two and a half of them. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's, it's just been strange. Yeah, um, I mean, there's been some good games though, to be fair. Yeah. Um, um, yeah. Uh, so, England now, Scotland now. Fantastic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> really glad I yeah. booked a table to watch that one. I know. But yeah, um, yeah, I'm really glad that I uh, kicked myself out with a Scotland flag and uh, a Scotland cap and everything. Yeah. So, yeah, that was quite fun. Any any ties to Scotland or just a um, random choice? Yeah, um, my great granddad was Scottish, so I thought mm-hmm. I might give that a bash. Um, hopefully that, hopefully in the next few years that will lead to me getting a, yeah, a Scottish passport and being European again. <laughs> <laughs> but we shall see. It's crazy, isn't it? Really, it is. Oh well, never mind. Um, yeah, I guess I ought to uh, keep an eye out on Italy as well, seeing as I've got a bit of Italian blood as well. So, well, I was about to say, um, yeah. let's start with Group A. Um, yeah. Oh, are they in Group A, miraculously? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, Italy. Let's see. Um, three Everybody. games, three wins. Yes. Stylish or the S- old Paolo man, man yeah. I don't even it's, know what you're talking about. It's or was kind it... of been a, a departure from, you know, when you imagine Italy and how they play yeah. or have played. Kind of it, tight, always... tight at the back. Keep it yeah. solid and midfield. Keep it tight. Yeah. One nil win. You yeah. Know, that sort of thing. But we going into the tournament, I think they're on this crazy winning streak. Yeah. Um, and they've just continued. They've, they've really played some really good stuff. Yeah. Um, Wales pushed them quite close though. They did, didn't they? Like, yeah. Out of the three games, I think Wales was the, the closest game. Yeah. Um, um, is that because they just uh, had uh, a mink whale in goal? <laughs> 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 yeah, somehow still conceded. What, what they're playing at? I don't know. Yeah, that's, yeah, that takes a lot of talent to yeah. still well, score. 
I guess having a team of 11 uh, whales is probably better than a team of 11 turkeys. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you something. Um, I actually predicted Turkey to be a real dark horse. Yeah, and finishing uh, I, with no points. With no points, yeah. yeah. I, went, I went into it thinking, you know what? surely, you know, it's, yeah. it's not the worst team. And it's no. not the hardest group, I don't think. So. No. I reckon... Um, Two wins and then go through, get to the quarters maybe. Yeah, but no. Could have been more wrong, to be honest. You could not, could you? Because that, that's the way you roll these days. Um, um, Wales quite surprised me. I don't know if you watched yeah. any of their highlights. Uh, I, no, I've gone, in, gone into this podcast completely in the dark. It's fantastic. <laughs> um, I couldn't even tell you um, what the... Uh, what the odd Brooklyn Dodgers are doing at the moment. So, but, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> yeah. We'll get to that in a bit, I'm sure. Yeah. Next week, like you're telling said, me they've moved really to Los Angeles. I'm really uh, last week's worth of results, if you've been keeping oh. out of the Padres. Have they not been going too well? They weren't, no. <laughs> oh dear. After such a bright start. And then That's why I didn't say too much. Yeah, Belgium. Uh, yeah another team that was slightly different to Italy I think everyone predicted them to do well yeah they're Uh, somehow the world's number one ranked team aren't they and I haven't won a thing no I haven't won a tournament and they've got a former Wigan manager in charge haven't they still maybe yeah still there still there crikey it is crazy though Um, I mean what was the last Belgian footballer you can think of before, like, the year 2000? The year two, before the year 2000. Um, wasn't it the guy who played for Sheffield Wednesday? Probably was at one point, yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, for the life of me, I can't think of his name. Because it just seems like they've had just a massive generational explosion yeah. where suddenly they've gone from naff all to like this amazing squad of like yeah. talented winning players very crazy isn't it um, um, although to be fair it wasn't the hardest group actually no. um, Denmark Finland and Russia I wouldn't like to pick a exactly a winner out of there and they all finished on three points yeah <laughs> um, is you to build a is who I was thinking of? <laughs> Can he fix it? <laughs> nope. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's 50 years you know, old these days. It's all good. It is, yeah. Um, so yeah. I still can't believe I dug that out of the uh, old Google. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you mean off the top of your head? Yeah, that's what I meant. Don't yeah. you mean... Uh, we never yeah. say the G word around here. Yeah, because we're all on Bing. Yeah, and, Jeeves, Jeeves yeah, is... Uh, and, and ask. <laughs> yeah, so. And uh, what was... The, can you remember Alta Vista back in the day? Um, Is that the one with the dog? No, um, that was like Lycos, wasn't it? Yeah, I think yeah. Alta Vista was the first one that had like... You could search for videos. Okay. You know, like how Google's now got like a... Yeah. Images tab and, and that. That was the first one that did that. <laughs> yeah. It was all yes. porn. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I guess the, the most um, disappointing thing is that we haven't had a pooky party at this uh, Euros. Yeah. yeah. Well, does anyone really expect one? Uh, everybody wants one. Yeah. I mean, who wouldn't? So, but there you go. What do I know? Same. Uh, yeah. Nobody cares about good Russia. Good, yeah. for, good for Denmark, though. Yeah. In, you know, despite uh, what's happened. Two, did, lost twice and still qualified. This, yeah. Uh, yeah, and probably arguably their best player kind of nearly keeling over as well. So, yeah. Yeah. It's a terrible, terrible it thing is. to happen. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure if he'll be allowed to play in Italy, you know, when he goes back to club football. So okay. I think, you think there is a thing where you can't play professional sport with the heart thing that he's had installed? Ah, oh, so, okay. So yeah, that'd be interesting to see what happens there. I think I'd be surprised if he even played again, to be honest. Yeah. 
I mean, what was um, Moamba? He was only 20, yeah. wasn't he? 26. I yeah. think Ericsson's nearly 30. Yeah, James Taylor was probably about 25, the cricketer. Yeah. And a similar thing happened. So. It isn't worth it, I don't think. I think something no. like that, where yeah. you've been fitted with a device that yeah. is keeping you alive. <laughs> it's yeah. like, um, why would you suddenly want to start running? Yeah. I read James Taylor's book at Christmas, um, and it kind of went through how he um, experienced like this really bad heart condition, and it was kind of it just kind of got worse throughout the day, um, and then like a, the day later he went into hospital and was like, "Oh, you've had like a major heart attack type of thing," and he was like, "Oh, have I?" <laughs> um, but yeah, they fitted this uh, this thing that restarts your heart. And he said the first time it ever went off was kind of the worst feeling ever because I guess because if you you know what it kind of feels like to have like a heart attack and then this thing is going to go off and like give you a shock and ah. was like, that that was kind of really quite quite scary so and yeah, it happened in public as well so yeah, yeah so even scarier it, I suppose. it's just sort of odd isn't it I mean twenty five that's no age for a heart attack is it no. Um, yeah, it's strange. I mean, for a football, you can sort of imagine it. Yeah. But um, I'm not saying that football's a more intense sport than cricket. But no. It just seems that yeah. it can't have been the cricket that did that. No. Um, he was he was incredibly fit as well. He is incredibly mm. fit. So, um, yeah, it's just weird how underlying conditions can kind of just strike even the healthiest of people. Out of nowhere as well, yeah. yeah. Netherlands. Um, yes. Not Holland. No. Netherlands. No. Not Steve. No. Or <laughs> um, Paul. Or Matt. Paul Holland. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, Another team with maximum points. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I guess. Are they, have they done their usual kind of silky technical kind of skills, kind of... We are Netherlands. We'll just play football how we like. It seems so. Yeah. yeah. It seems that um, long gone are the uh, days of we'll just hack you to death. Uh, it, will, it will kick the lumps out. <laughs> yeah. Because that's how they got to World Cup final, wasn't it? Yeah, and yeah. still continue to do so in the final. Yeah. <laughs> uh, don't think they got a red card at all in that final. Though. Possibly not. No. Have you seen the image of I think it's Nigel De Jong? Okay. Who literally kicks a lumps in the chest? Yeah. With his studs. Nice. He <laughs> can't escapes, escapes punishment. Yeah. It's like, yeah. yeah, that would be like three red cards now. Yeah. <laughs> and a 15 year ban. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, that was a strange group because yeah. a lot of people predicted Ukraine to do quite well. Yeah. On the back of nothing, really. Okay. No evidence. Because the fact that it's just Austria and North Macedonia. Yeah. yeah. And no one expects much of them. No. Even though yeah. North Macedonia have probably got the best flag in the competition. Is that the the yellow? Y- yeah, the yellow sun, sun with the yeah, yeah. the orange bits. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Even though they have had to change their name. That's true. Yeah. yeah. It's not no mention of South Macedonia. No, or the <laughs> former Yugoslav Republic. <laughs> uh, disgraceful days. But yeah, I guess that was a. That's a dispute with Greece, I think, because there's an area. Okay. Was it Bulgaria? It's one of them countries, because it's got, um, yeah, there's an area of one of them countries that is called Macedonia. So they're like, right, you've got to change your name, mate. So they kind of, oh, okay. Pro- probably. I'm sure that's how international diplomacy works. <laughs> what oh, mate, you've got to change the name of yeah. your country. Oh, yeah. right. Yeah, no worries. Yeah, <laughs> yeah why would you say, mate? Uh, well, that Macedonian Mark II, is that allowed? Um, probably not, no. Uh, can you think of something a bit more original? <laughs> okay, Sup- well... Super Macedonia. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we don't want you to let out the truth, really. So, how about, seeing as you're north of this area, how about north? Yeah, that'll do. Whatever. Yeah, the, the logic stands up for that one. Yeah. Uh, nobody cares about Group D. Nope. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Just out of interest, though, I mean, what would you say um, if if you can call it a problem with England? If if you know if there is one, 
Um, just why they're playing the way they are. The fans. Yeah. They expect poor dire football. So that's exactly what they're getting. Uh, yeah. How's it? In case of, um, I think it was Gary Neville that was saying we're probably like the fifth or sixth favourite to win this tournament. Yeah. So we're not going to win it no. against the teams of others. Yeah. If you go toe to toe. Yeah. So if we can stay so- really solid at the back. Yeah. And just hope for one or two moments of yeah. like magic. I like mean, Greece did. Yeah. Back in the day. You know. Um, I mean, Scotland were getting that way until Grant Hanley went off, and then it all fell fell to pieces. I think Scotland played a lot better than one point suggests. Yeah, I think if they had a full, fully fit Grant Hanley, they would have won that competition. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're not convinced, are you? But, See, that's another reason to support Scotland because you go with the team that have got the most knowledge players on. Surprising they left Kenny Miller out there. Yeah. Well, why not? <laughs> <laughs> um, it's probably like 48 by now. But... Yeah. Um, doesn't he run a, uh, a pub in Dundee? No, possibly, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's probably a million Kenny Millers in Dundee. Yeah. I was, I was trying to think uh, earlier, and I think one of one of the areas that we kind of have a quite a, a bond on is our enjoyment of Scottish comedy. That be oh yes, yeah, yeah. Um, you're still game for some comedy. Still game, yeah. That's yeah. A, yeah, underrated, I think. Actually. Yeah, I think quite a lot of it. A lot of Scottish comedy is. It's like, mm. yeah. Um, why isn't it? Why isn't it on mainstream TV? Why is it just on on BBC Scotland? Yeah, it is. it's odd. Yeah, um, I think Berniston's done slightly better. But I think the the elevator sketch. Yeah, they've done quite well worldwide. Yeah, yeah. And people see it as like, oh, it's an in joke about yeah Scottish dialect. Do, do, do you want to tell our faithful view, uh, viewers, faithful listeners about the elevator, the sketch? Uh, well, for those that haven't seen it, um, <laughs> why not? There's a sketch on. I think it's season. I'll say one. Okay. Berniston, I think half the two. really decent ones are from like series one, it's episode one. <laughs> yeah, series yeah. one and then two I need to watch again. Yeah. I'm sure there's a couple of Yeah. And then season three, episode one, I think is the, the solid pinnacle. all the way yeah. through. Yeah. Um but yeah, so the two guys get in the elevator. Um just speaking Scottish to each other. Yeah. And it's a voice activated elevator where you say the floor number out loud. Yes. And the voice is American so the two guys are like okay yeah we'll go to floor 11 Yeah. so they say 11 <laughs> and the voice is like can you repeat that <laughs> <laughs> and this sort of goes on and on and on Yeah. and the elevator doesn't understand and then it, it goes to if you would like to get out just say open the doors please <laughs> <laughs> please certainly <laughs> <laughs> mean, well eh the whole thing's on here. It's just a, a, an amazing sketch. Yeah. Um, so I would recommend for those who haven't seen it, go yeah. and watch it and then watch the rest of the show. Exactly. That's a, yeah, it's a very, very good series. Underrated gem. Yes. Um, I I think even Scottish music as well. You need like a bit of, uh, is it Delamitri? Yeah, I love Delamitri. Yeah. Um, yeah. Fratellis have had a yeah. decent album they can, out uh, recently. They can boogie. One night long. They definitely can. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Texas have had a new album out as well, haven't they? Oh, sure. yeah. Yeah. Sounds quite different to previous stuff. stuff. Yeah. Did you ever listen to her solo stuff? Yeah, I, I thought it was yeah. solid, old Charlene. Yeah. Mm. yeah. I was a bit quite... like a 60s sort yeah. of revival, wasn't it? Yeah. Then there was a kind of, uh, is it songs for musicals or something? Or... Like film music. Sure. No. Oh well, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, it's good to have them back. Um, yeah. yeah, indeed. Did you review that for the. Uh, uh, did you, that come up in your album when, of the week? When did it come out, to be honest? Because I've kind of just been doing it off Wikipedia week yeah. by week. Uh, Delamitri wasn't on there when it no, was. Yeah. 
It's, it was, I knew it was out. It's in the last month because uh, that's what my dad got for his birthday. So. Uh, I've, yeah. I've probably missed it then. Um, oh, yeah, yeah it's, it's a shame. I mean, I only knew about the Delimitri album just from yeah. following them. Yeah. It wasn't on the list at all. So. No, from being a hardcore fan. Yes. Yeah, indeed. Well, it was probably like th- four years. Yeah. <laughs> You're still a youngster, though. You're only about yeah, I'm ten. Still, it's my pride. With your uh, with your old slaphead bonds. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We've lost a lot of hair without Tom. Yeah, I know. <laughs> he makes up the hair quota. He does. Yeah. Never mind. We could probably just uh, rename this to two slapheads that talk about crap. The, the old man. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's the episode title. <laughs> Um, uh, Sweden. Okay, group, groupie, yeah. Uh, I know you like your, your Swedes, don't you? I do, yeah. Um, yeah, okay, music, musically, yeah. Top, top the group as well. Yeah, the winner takes it all. Mm. Yeah. Give, me, give, me, <laughs> give me some facts on <laughs> give me, Sweden. Give me some points after midnight. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, Spain have been an interesting one because yeah. they've kind of done what they always do. Yes. And, and just sort of pass, yeah, and pass and pass and pass, and just get the other team chasing forever. Yeah, yeah. Although the difference is this time is that Fair it was right. in 2010 was Torres. Okay, he was the striker, wasn't he? Probably. Um, when they won the World Cup in Euros. Yeah. And this time it's Morata, who's like the football equivalent of uh, Scunthorpe. Yeah. <laughs> 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 so it's just been it's been hard to watch them because it, it yeah I think it was Robbie Savage one of the commentators just saying it's just boring to watch them yeah and I know England are a fantastic watch yeah. at the minute but Spain are horrendously boring yeah. to watch so although, predictable yeah although they scored six goals and uh, and conceded the one yeah, yeah. Um, most in their group but wasn't most of them against Slovakia though yeah they beat okay. Slovakia 5-0 I believe okay so um, where they came from. Sweden without Zlatan as well. Yeah, but he's 705? 704. Okay, yeah. Um, he, he kind of, what was it, he ruled himself in contention to play for his country again and was like, oh yeah, yeah. I'll do that. amazing. And then his knee just kind of went, hang on a minute. <laughs> no, we're not. Yeah. So... Many people thought, well, that's their chance to come. It's going to be Poland and Spain. Yeah. And no, it hasn't. No. Never mind. Um, Poland was a strange one, though, because, again, that was based on one player. Yeah. You know, name three Polish players, it's like, uh, no. No. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, I don't want to do that. No, who would? People, yeah, who'd want to? Yeah. I don't know. to be time. And finally, Group F. Group F. Um, oh, going to be the most exciting group here, I think. Yeah, we, we, we. Uh, ya, ya, ya. Yes. And CCC what, uh, and... Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know any Portuguese or Hungarian? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Portuguese is just... Uh, Welsh to this Spain's England, isn't it? Something like that. Isn't there somewhere in like Argentina where they speak uh, just Welsh <laughs> randomly? <laughs> Honestly, there is there is a a random South American town where they speak uh, <laughs> they speak Welsh, and I can't remember where it was now. Is it Cardiff? That's the one. <laughs> Less yeah. spotted. Yeah. Um, yeah. Oh. Um, yeah. Patagonian Welsh uh, in Argentina. Really? Yeah. Which is uh, quite odd. But there you go. Yeah. There, <laughs> there is a place in Argentina that speaks Welsh. It's an interesting fact of the day. It is. Wow. <laughs> You could just about call it a fact. <laughs> and interesting. <laughs> yeah. That's the very one. Well, 
Well, you all know what we're trying to get at. So. Yeah. So who's going to win the damn thing? Then? Well, let's just talk about. Uh, there is somewhere that has the the next games. Yeah. Um, for the life of me, I can't figure out the UEFA website. <laughs> Uh, you haven't donated enough money. For... So I do know that it is Wales and Denmark. Yeah. Next tomorrow, round. Tomorrow. Uh, yes. Yep. Yeah. Or sometime in the past, if you're listening to this at a later date. Or, you know, yeah. last year, if uh, yeah. you start to listen to us and don't really care much for it and just want to skip ahead to the best bits yeah what the cow puns again <laughs> <laughs> that was a great episode that was we'll be ever, forever just the cow pun people so, yeah yeah it's not not the worst thing I'd like to be known for no <laughs> yeah it's just you and your big cow packs <laughs> 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 like you know how certain, web, uh, certain websites certain podcasts and like TV shows, films, or whatever, have like one thing that kind of the fans cling to, and then yeah. so they're like, "Well, we'll just overrun this joke." Yeah, into the ground. Like we haven't done any of that. No, we make a reference, and then we don't speak about it ever again. Yeah. <laughs> uh, have you seen any of Meet the Richardsons? Only advertised. Yeah, I actually watched it um, because uh, they the characters in that are actually married in real life. Uh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Lucy Beaumont and uh, Big Reeves. Yeah, <laughs> the other guy. Um, <laughs> and um, yeah, so Lucy writes a sitcom, and she gets um, what's his face to do a uh, catchphrase, and he just really doesn't like the idea of it. Which, yeah, I'd hate to be uh, be known by a catchphrase, to be honest. Because you kind of forced into aren't you? Yeah. you have to and it's, it's going to be one of those things where <clears throat> if if several videos of yours end up on YouTube that's the one that everyone is going to watch yeah similar to the Burniston elevator it's going to be like well yeah now it's there's more to it than this game holds although I think we do have one don't we we do have a catchphrase uh oh yeah don't count them out that's yeah <laughs> come roll out the mile then <laughs> <morning. laughs> <laughs> but never mind it's all good oh, always tickles me that one does yeah um, so how have you been impressed by the men in black who are the men in black the reference <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus can you not see that I'm the only one taking secret bingo seriously this oh, I've got a three or four in without you even buying an island well same here um you know, I'll say one thing to you right now. Okay. Keith, be real. Indeed. Uh, yes, yes, y'all. Do you know that? Yes, yes, y'all featuring um, Smith, Jones, Pokey and Tone. Camp play, whatever. Uh, one yeah. of the writing credits on there, Lisa Stansfield. Oh, of course. Because <laughs> <laughs> that's who you immediately um, yeah, associate with uh 90s rap, isn't it? So, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, 1997's album as well. Yeah, they were the good times. Oh, that was a great year. Yeah, Spice Girls. Yeah, uh, All Saints. All Saints. Yeah. Um, Calls. Yeah, Bo- Boys Just Own. been breaking through. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Now we're talking. Yeah, <laughs> indeed. <laughs> Ronan. Yes. Ah. Oh. That man could melt my heart. That man could stick yeah. whatever he wants. <laughs> wherever he wants. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is uh, is data stick into your uh, port? US, USB stick. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> let's, let's try and keep it clean. <laughs> Indeed. Um, we'll get it with another strike. Yeah. He could always bring you some candy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um I, I mean that's that's a reference I'll be chasing forever. Yeah, I think I, in there. So I think you've I, done well to get it in yeah. early. I know. I I loved you. <laughs> 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 uh, 
<laughs> right, I think that's all that I've done. Right, next. Uh, we'll, we'll, quick, oh. let's, let's pick a winner, shall we? Winner? Um, Sweden. Absolutely nothing. Yeah, Sweden. Sweden? Sweden, yeah. Um, Just so I can wear the shirt for the final. Yeah. Then we'll France. I will say. Italy. Italy. Good choice. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so that they do the double this year. Well, something wouldn't. Eurovision. <laughs> Were you of not course, there? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. um, yeah. So which Italy player do you think will be falsely accused of taking Coke on the pitch? <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear the uh, the reason for why he was bent over the table? Uh I can't remember, but yeah, they got like so, some art historian in to like confirm that this hadn't happened, which I thought was amazing. What it's was like, it? also, who cares? Who yeah, knows? it's worse things to be accused of. Yeah, being a uh, the uh, minister for health. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. I don't know. Let's try not to get too political, shall we? No, that's as far as I'm going. I didn't even mention uh, Matt Hancock by name. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to have to edit anything out of this. Make <laughs> my job harder. I know. So, yeah, I didn't Don't say, say that. his name ever again. Yeah. Um, yeah. I know. Yeah, okay. Uh, my favourite is... Uh, my favourite type of paint is matte paint. And my favourite... 1950s comedian is Hancock. I thought you were going to say your favourite Will Smith movie. <laughs> no, that's Hitch, obviously. Never seen it. Have you never seen it? Oh, you're missing out on absolutely nothing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's a solid performance from Kevin Smith, I think. Riddle me this. Okay. okay. Will Smith. Yeah. Good actor or bad actor? Uh, now don't be swayed on him being in good films yeah above average actor <laughs> that's not the answer you wanted no but it's no, I think I think he is he is actually quite a decent actor because um, he's been in some good films <laughs> no um, do you know what I was going to be angry at you but uh, you can't so with, no, no, with a face like this how can you be angry with it <laughs> So um, easily. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think he's a decent actor. I can't. Put, I mean, I'm not like a professional art, uh, yeah, film critic, but I can't uh, poke any holes in any of his performances. Is it because his acting is sort of uh, what's the word? Like it doesn't jump out, or yeah. like he isn't a terrible actor. No, he's just. There, so, so it's just yeah. like you don't really notice it as much. I think, I think probably his best performance is probably is it Enemy of the State? Another one I've not seen. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. What's a movie? Yeah, <laughs> next you'll be telling me you haven't watched the uh, is it The Legends of Bag of Valance? Don't think I've seen that one. No, Bag of Bats, uh, yeah, something like that. I think it's got Matt Damon in, so I'm um, sure this. The, uh, the other guy Robin yeah yeah um, I was trying to I was to, trying to describe a film at work today and it was really difficult because it was uh, Field of Dreams <laughs> and it's like how do you explain that film to uh, to an 11 year old kid you say name the best baseball movie ever made it's not even the best Kevin Costner baseball film ever made <laughs> honestly Paul Durham is a better baseball film Starring Kevin Costner. I do like Ball Durham. Yeah. And you also know. Moneyball's what... not bad. Moneyball's alright. But you know yeah. what my favourite film is, <clears throat> baseball film is, don't you? Let me think of one more. Oh. It's the best Tom Hanks film of all time. I'm not, not going to say it. <laughs> uh, nor am I going to give you the satisfaction of saying it. <laughs> um, what's that, uh, what's that uh, Sky TV? Uh, Series that's got um, Jane Redknapp in and uh, and the other guys, Jack. Um, 
Oh, Jesus. Um, What's that called? Oh, I found we could some way to search for this. Yeah. Okay. Uh, oh, God, that's, this is bugging me. Is it bugging you? Jack Whitehall and Jane Redknapp and Freddie Flintoff and... A League of Their Own. Yeah. Best baseball movie ever. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I just yeah. Having, just having fun. No, but yeah. See, you fell for it, which is the main thing. Yeah, which is why we'll never talk again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just about to hit block on this team's call. Yeah, it was nice knowing you. Yeah, but, it yeah. was a good run. Yeah, it was. Um, I mean, is that the all the football we want to talk about? I Anything think else? so. Um. Yeah, not that I can think of. Um, Excited for Norwich. Yeah, it should be fun. There's no, there's no expectation on us to do well, which, which is good for me because just enjoy it. Mm. Yeah, uh, especially if it gets to go to a few games. But, That's true. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. Although I think the membership thing is so complicated these days that I wouldn't even know <laughs> how to begin. And I think you probably have to pay an extortionate amount just to join it as well. But, which, what, for the, the season ticket? Or? Just for a membership to qualify for other tickets outside, oh, okay. of, yeah, outside of season tickets. Cause, okay. Yeah, because I can't do a, a full season. Because one, I don't earn enough. Two, it's too far away. Mm. Yeah. It's a lot of money. It's it a lot is, of money. Yeah. Um, I guess Mansfield season ticket holders are... They're cashing it in this year, aren't they? You seen that? How so? If you are, if you were a season ticket last season, you get thirty three percent off your new Mansfield season ticket. Ah, that's interesting. Yeah, yeah which I thought was a, a nice touch as well. It's like you you've paid money to not turn up and watch us pay play, so yeah. have a bit off. Show that we value your support. Speaking of Mansfield, actually, I've seen the um, the Papa John Trophy features. You know where it starts out as like a group, yeah, where it's like AFL teams and then like under yeah. twenty one teams of uh, uh, Newcastle under twenty. Newcastle in the same group. Nice. Yeah. So you might get to see the under twenty threes get whooped. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Although it didn't say um, dates or or where the fixtures were going to be. All it no. said was. The AFL happening. teams get to play two out of three of their games. Yeah. Um, okay. That's but then, I suppose, in a group of four, yeah. Yeah. <coughs> Interesting. Yeah, it should be good. Yeah. yeah. But, uh, probably won't go anyway, so. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You want you want me to pay how much to watch Mansfield Reserves against Newcastle's under-23 team? Yeah. And it's yeah. in October as well, so it's going to be yeah. fucking freezing. Yeah, and although it's not like there's any birthdays around that time of year to spend money on, is there? So, no, 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 no dates of notice, is there? Nothing. No, not after Exciting. September the tenth, because then we all celebrate it being six six days after fiance's fortieth <laughs> birthday. <laughs> <laughs> Have you got birthday plans for yours? Um, big milestone. Not really. I the big two one. I think. Yeah, I think it's, I know it's like 75 days away, but it's still kind of, the the restrictions are kind of still so much up in the air that you can't probably really tell until like the Tuesday before. Yeah. So, for my play by year. Um, That's fair. Yeah. Might, might, it's on a Friday as well, so I might just uh, get some of my school chums to go down to the Bramley Apple and have a, a, a yeah, gallon of ale or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But we'll, we'll see. Um, yeah. Yeah. I'm sure something can be arranged. I mean, hopefully after yeah. next month when things start. Yeah. I mean, I, I could always have a joint 40th with Beyonce and uh, Fern Cotton, couldn't I? So. It, depends if, <laughs> it depends if you're free though, isn't it? Yeah, I know. I'm, you, don't, you don't really put anything aside no. to, to make room for something like that, do you? No. Um, yeah, if I'm free, then the 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 back join me. <laughs> I suppose just figure out your schedule and just just yeah. 
give him a call back, I suppose. Yeah, I mean, I don't think Beyonce's got anything on around then, so it's all good. And, yeah, what is Van Cotton doing these days? I think she's writing books or something, isn't she? What has she ever done? Uh, kids, <laughs> kids TV? Was it her that starred on the, um, was it a show called Smart back in the day? Do you remember that? Uh, that was the art program, wasn't it? Yeah, it was her and it was Stephen Mulhern. Two of them. Uh, I think she was on uh, ITV's Children's TV. Mm. Uh, I can't remember. Uh, Fran Cotton, the rugby union player. <laughs> nope. <laughs> uh, they'd have to look at Spanish anyway. Um, she, she hosted the Radio 1 chart show with Reggie Yates for two years. Indeed. So, um, did you know that Ronnie Wood's her father in law? <laughs> Is he really? Yeah. <laughs> uh, television. GMTV's uh, Disney, the Disney Club. And then Dig It. Oh, uh, yeah, I remember Dig yeah. It. And then she was uh, joined CBBC in 2001 to present the science programme, Eureka TV. Jesus oh yeah, man. she did uh, fingertips with Stephen Mulhern. That might have been what I'm thinking of. Then. Yeah. So what the hell's smart? Where have I got that from? That was another. Wasn't that the? Um, oh, the was guy, that one where the, one of the guys died. Uh, Is it some spate? Some spate? Yeah. I thought. Is it not the one with? Um, Probably like seventeen the, shows. The dude. Time. The dude that's uh, actually Banksy. There were rumours, and I can't remember what his name was. Neil Buchanan. <laughs> so, yeah, there were rumours that Neil Buchanan is actually Banksy. I was right about Smart, by the way. I just yeah. googled it. Um, okay. Began in 1994 and presented by Mark Spate. Yeah. Uh, Jay Broyd, Zoe Ball. Yeah. Uh, Kirsten O'Brien. I remember Kirsten. Yeah, Kirsten. Kirsten yeah. Uh, um, Mark Spate, yeah. Oh yeah, shit, you do. Yeah. It sadly die. Yeah. yeah, that was a bit tragic, that. So, oh dear, yeah, I've just read yeah. the, um, the why or the how, and it's, uh, yeah. it's quite sad. It is. Um, I don't know. See, obscure British kids' TV references will get you get nowhere else. No. Um, so you know the uh, the match attacks cards just randomly. So, I think so. Um, so that they come, they've got a, a, a new cricket one for the Spangly New Hundred tournament that they're doing uh, oh, okay. later this year. Um, so I was quite excited for that because it's got the men's and women's cricketers in. Uh, literally, the first card I get is like one of my favourite players, and it's like, yes, this is going to be yeah. great. Got home. Uh, and then somebody on the on Facebook said, "Oh, they spelled a name wrong." <laughs> what? And I hadn't I hadn't tweaked. And instead, Happy? yeah, instead of Kirsty Gordon, they put Christy Gordon. Oh, and no. it's like, it's like, why, why? At least they don't put something like Kirsty Fuckface or something. <laughs> no, that's, <laughs> <laughs> that's but, still that's poor, isn't it? That's yeah. Just... It's like, yeah, you spent they spent more or less all the reserves that English cricket have got on this competition, and then the first thing that you mark it out of, and it's just spelled wrong. So absolutely outraged. <laughs> I can see, yeah, yeah. You, unconsolable. Yeah, but but somebody said, hey, but that's going to be a collector's item one day. No, that's true. Yeah, but I'm not in it for the money. Still, I mean, keep yeah. hold of that thing. Yeah. Right now. You know yeah. how much misprinted coins get these days. So. Yeah. So, yeah. Christy Gordon. <laughs> <laughs> probably is a real player as well. So. Uh, somewhere. It's really exciting yeah. about her name being on a card. It's like yeah, but it's probably like a Hungarian uh, handball player or something. Yeah. Doesn't, yeah. doesn't really care about no. cricket. <laughs> no. I mean, who does? No. 
Oh, well, you do. Cause I do, you were yeah. writing a bookie book about it back in the day, weren't you? I was. Uh... <laughs> 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 but never mind. Um... So yeah, I've got a I've got a game tomorrow that I'm going to report on. Two games tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So uh, Lightning versus Southeast Stars in the morning, and then uh, Nottinghamshire versus. Um... See, this is where I got this. Up. <laughs> is it, Jamie's currently pointing to the the most in depth calendar known to man. Yeah. Uh, uh, I think NASA used something similar to land a rocket on the moon. They did. Nottinghamshire versus Lancashire. Okay. So there'll be two teams called Lightning turning up tomorrow who've got absolutely nothing in common other than the name. That's and poor. they play cricket. But, yeah, that's poor. Let's yeah. think of something else, surely. Yeah. Um, it's, cause, um, it's because uh, Loughborough, who the, uh, the team in the morning are based on, but no longer allowed to call themselves Loughborough. Um, have all their teams like their rugby team, the hockey team, uh, their netball team. They're all lightning. So mm-hmm. when, so when the uh, when the uh, the submission for uh, franchises for that competition went in, they're like, right, we'll be uh, we'll be left for a lightning please. And they're like, yeah, do you want to play in purple? And they're like, yeah. <laughs> um, so, yeah, but now this new competition, they're not allowed to be called Loughborough because they've got to be more regional. And... Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. And with... Well, the, the, mid, the Midlands line. In yeah. Like East, yeah, East Midlands, basically. Yeah. Are they? Although it's mainly Nottinghamshire players. Um, and then they've got the 100 competition. Uh, so the team from the East Midlands, you'd think that'd be a perfect excuse to put them in powerful, wouldn't it? No, we're going to put the uh, we're going to put the North East team in purple instead. So they're not even doing yeah. So yeah, the Trent Rockets are going to be the one playing out of Trent Bridge, and they're going to be in a ye- yellow and kind of ready kind of kit that resembles Skips, the Skips packaging, because <laughs> they're sponsored by Quavers. That's the one. Yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, I was in a rival ground the other day, uh, the other month, and uh, I bought a packet of skips in, and I don't think anybody noticed because nobody cares. <laughs> so that's what you think. Yeah, the, well, sure they've got your credentials on file now for the rest of your life. Yeah. Well, everybody that's ever heard about the fans that is that have heard about the hundred would be like, we don't care, I don't care, that they don't represent me. So they've got a team called Manchester Originals that are representing the North West. So the whole of the North West has been uh, being represented by a team called Manchester. Ah, uh, okay, yeah. yeah. So, so yeah. You see why there'd be problems then, yeah. yeah. Bit, get, uh... get your Liverpool fans down for some Manchester Original. So, yeah. hmm. Sponsored by the Real McCoy. <laughs> so, yeah. so some of these names are original aren't they so how, how many teams are they in the, uh, they're eight I think it's uh, not many though is it no okay. so got I can't see it. that's London Spirit Tammy Beaumont yeah Tammy Beaumont she's a lovely young lady um, then you've got the Birmingham Phoenix they're playing the uh, but a kiss kit Adam Sampa. Sampa. Yeah. And what other teams have we got? We've got the aforementioned uh, Manchester Originals. Big Joe. Yeah. Oh, there's there's the uh, Trent Rockets kit. Okay. Yeah. Like the, uh, I can see what you mean. Yeah. The yellow and the red stripes. Yeah. Um, the Southern Pond Bears. I mean, Braves. <laughs> Soul. Yeah, she's <laughs> okay. a World Cup winner. She literally won the World Cup. Um, the Oval Invincibles. I can't. Rihanna Southby. Yeah, um, and they're by I think they're KP Nuts, third sponsor. Um, okay. Yeah. So you've got two teams in green. 
There's the uh, Northern Superchargers. They're uh, purple. Oh, to be fair, to be fair, there is a there is a big Willy card, and that's more or less it, I think. I can't think of any other teams, but yeah. Oh, hello, hello, Charlie. Hello. Hey, we never got any of this when you just live with the cat and squirrel. <laughs> <laughs> I was old squirts anyway. Keeps out of trouble. Turtles tend to do. Yeah. Um, they spend a lot, don't they? They're always shelling out for something new. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you, you can't be. It can't be a bullpen podcast if there isn't an animal pun or any type yeah. of pun. If there isn't a pun in, it's not. A, it's not an official <laughs> bullpen it's not podcast. Worth recording and exactly. Online. Yeah. Yeah. It needs to be pantoffle. And it is, and always will be. Indeed. And on that note, shall we discuss baseball? Baseball? We are currently 55 minutes in, and we're going to talk about <laughs> baseball. What you're all here for. Um, so, no, let's call yeah. it a day. <laughs> uh, oh, my Go on then, go on then, lay it on me. Um, them Red Turks are all right, aren't they? Heard it better. I mean, this is a great chance to win that division. Yeah. And you're making the absolute <laughs> best effort to not to. Yeah, half a game behind the uh, Tampa Bay's. Who have beat you twice. Yeah. Although their last 10 records are actually worse than ours. So. It is, it's terrible. I think, yeah. yeah, the seven was in a row as well, I think. Really? Correct. Yeah. Um, they've won two in a row now, though. So. Yeah. Whereas Red Sox have lost two in a row. So. I, I wish I was a, a Baltimore Oriole, to be honest. It would be so easy, wouldn't it? Yeah, they've got the best mascot. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. I would, um, the what about the Yankees, though? The Yankees. Oh, nobody cares about them. No. Uh, people are only in it for the uh, the merchandise. I mean, come back when you've won something. That's my understanding. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> um, oh, how about Kansas City, eh? Uh, well, that, that is another strange division where anyone could have won it. I yeah. Think. Anyone could have put a run together. And yeah. But White it Sox seems to be the White right? Sox at the minute that yeah. are doing, doing the serious work. Have Cleveland decided what they're going to call themselves yet? Or is Cleveland these days? Uh, yeah, wasn't it? Um, yeah, difficulties with the name, isn't it? Yeah. Um, I don't know what they've settled on, to be honest. No. If yeah. if anything, Cle- Cleveland. <laughs> Just stick with Cleveland. Yeah. Indeed. Um, I don't know why um, America's fascination with animal suffixes on. Indeed. Seems a bit uh, cheesy if you ask me, but uh, yeah. my opinion. Yeah. Right, um, well, so that's that. Because what, what was your? Can you remember your pre prediction? My pre prediction. Who was going to win the World Series? Can you remember what uh, yours was? I can't remember. I don't think. I don't think it was uh, the Red Sox, was it? No. Um, uh, did, <laughs> Miami. <laughs> <laughs> it probably was. Yeah. Uh, um, Pretty sure I said angels. Yeah. Well, I can I can only see American League. That's they're the only baseball teams you need to care about, aren't they? In the American League, there's no other league. I mean, you're confused. It's fine. Am I? You've, you've got your divisions the wrong way around. Oh, it's fine. oh yeah. Oh yeah, because there's uh, Washington, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, Washington Capitals. Um. But yeah, the the 
West division in the National League. Is that it's just that's like a, thing? a different leader each week? Yeah. I think um, it just seems that the the Giants have really pulled away there. Yeah. Is that why? Uh, is that why Thomas isn't around because he doesn't want to gloat too much? I expected it, you know. I expected it as soon as they went to that crazy win streak. They were yeah. just going to be because um, it coincided with us losing yeah. a lot of games in a row. Yeah. Well, they've won seven in a row. <laughs> well, we, this is the thing we got um, swept by the Cubs, I believe, yeah. or maybe the one-three. Yeah. Um, well, we played the Cubs and got swept. Played another team and lost one-three. Played the Cubs again and lost one and three or one and two or something like that. Yeah. Um, and then beat Cleveland four out of four, and then we beat the Dodgers three out of three. So it's like nice. I think we've been dodges about seven or eight times this season. Yeah. Uh, um, we, just doesn't count. <laughs> no. We'll play them in the playoffs and lose. Yeah. Well, you're going to lose, lose the next game, aren't you? Because that's against the Diamondbacks. I know. But, the thing is, we did here in, yeah. this, in the season. We lost against yeah. them. We they, lost against Pittsburgh. So, Diamondbacks um, have won 21 games. Pittsburgh have won 27. And, yeah. And they beat us this and, season. And all 48 of those games were against <laughs> against the Padres, <laughs> yeah. Which is um, which is quite miraculous to say that uh, Padres have lost 32 games, and <laughs> 48 of them have been against the two teams in baseball. <laughs> I'm no maths expert, but no. Uh, I don't know. I am. So yeah, it's quite up. Yeah. I mean, if you are, then I take your word for it. Yeah, you should do. Because I'm also a, uh, I'm also a baseball expert. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you can't be an expert and have you can't not be an expert and have a podcast, can you? You can't just be some bloke off the street just talking absolute rubbish and have a podcast. <laughs> not no, about baseball, just, anyway. It would just make the whole podcast thing just irrelevant. It, it would. Just, do. Yeah. It's, yeah. You might as well just get two blokes around, uh, around a beer and then just go for it. So. And if you're going to talk about baseball in a podcast, just just talk about it all the time. Yeah, not oh, fifty-five Don't make minutes. Make it long. like five percent of your podcast. <laughs> yeah. uh, so who's Paddock, and what's he going to do? Uh, Paddock is a pitcher who yeah. had a really terrible first couple of games. Okay. Where so, he would come in as a relief pitcher. Yeah. Um, in the end of a game that we're currently winning. Nice. And we'd end up losing. Yeah. So that's why he's starting against the Diamondbacks. Yeah, well, that's why I said. Yeah. Firstly, because he, yeah. he used to do and then he's had a couple of decentish, decentish games. Starts. Yeah. Fair enough. But, um, yeah, if you look at San Diego's bullpen stats, we are like yeah. bottom of the pile for a lot of stats. Although, uh, yeah, so Paddock's ERA is uh, 4.10, and yeah. the Diamondbacks one is 8.62. So it's not, it's not good, is it? No, so it's the Diamondbacks went all the way. Yeah. yeah. Nailed on, if you ask me. Yeah. I can't think of any other result. Um, now, if I had to pick what you think in our, in our place, definitely our bullpen. Yeah. I'll probably, I've got faith in two pitches, and the rest of them are just there to make me panic, I think. Yeah. Um, oh, Alton John's uh, Farewell Yellow Brook Road, fi- the final tour, the final, mm-hmm. final tour, is going to uh, tra- Field. Uh, Chase Field on mm-hmm. November the 12th. Oh, nice. So, Close. Yeah. Uh, call it your birthday present. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think you've got a couple of tickets already then. I have, yeah. Uh, that's why I'm permitting it. Get to I, did, I did wonder why... Uh, get to Chase Field on November the 12th. I did wonder why two grand had got missing out of our bullpen. Yeah. <laughs> um, petty cash account. But, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Didn't want to the, the, the usual five grand, fifteen grand in there, though. It wasn't going yeah, to miss it, was it? It was dropping the ocean, really, isn't it? Yeah. Right. All that money we, we make on merchandising and yeah. adverts. Yeah, advertising. Um, yeah. Colgate, make your teeth white. <laughs> Subway, uh, <laughs> eat, eat well. Yes. <laughs> um, McDonald's, I, I really like it. Yes. <laughs> 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 Oh 
dear. Uh, KFC. Really bloody good chicken. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Well, we're speaking of ad money. Yeah. Uh, got a strange text on. It was yesterday. Okay. So basically, these the whatever company that pays the ad money through yeah. YouTube is called AdSense. Okay. Yeah. Which is owned by Google. Yes. And so if you want to monetize your videos, you sign up to AdSense. Yeah. With your channel details, and then that's what gives you the money. Nice. So I got an email from them saying, um, as part of our internal audit, we have identified an unpaid balance of eighteen pounds. I owe to you. Ah, oh, nice. So somewhere on the lines, one of my YouTube videos done <laughs> some serious work. Really well. Yes. Yeah. I think uh, one of my uh, one of my blogs has got uh, some AdSense adverts on it, and I think I think I'm just up to the threshold of like having enough money to cash it out. Oh but, no. Yeah, but it's so complicated. I can't even work out how to like do it properly so yeah so it's not it's not a life changing amount of money so I mean this I, I completely forgot about yeah. to be honest this, this was from years ago so yeah. nice. good on them for letting me know mm-hmm. if I ever get around to claiming it I don't know <laughs> does it look like somebody's like carved one of my eyes out scraped just clawed one of my eyes out uh, no no okay it just does from a certain angle I think <laughs> it's, it's a good job this isn't a video show yeah um, yeah you you haven't got a Facebook video <laughs> yeah. oh hay, uh, hay fever right now is just like off the charts yeah I can imagine yeah so, worst time fun. of the year for it isn't it yeah yeah it's the it's the time <laughs> yeah it's the time of the year where you think it's going to be fantastic for me to get out and do what I enjoy and then it's just like just uh, chew. <laughs> so, I, yeah, I don't know. That's one of those things. I'm sure it'll be fine tomorrow. Yeah. Be, it's probably going to rain all day, so. Yeah. Yeah, Lorraine's going to be there all day. So. <laughs> um, she bloody gets about, doesn't she? I know. Yeah, I always blame it on Lorraine. I don't know why. Such a lovely lady as well. <laughs> I sometimes just set fire to Lorraine. Yeah. I don't know. Is that a, is that a reference to something? Yeah, I mean Adele told me to do it. So it's... <laughs> well, if Adele told you to do it, then that's fair. You got to do it, haven't you? Yeah. Um, who, who dares say no to Adele? Exactly. Yeah. Not me, my friend. <laughs> what Adele laptop? <laughs> <laughs> who says no to an Adele laptop? Yeah. Not me. <laughs> this podcast brought to you by Hewitt Packard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I do. It's all good. Yeah. You gotta laugh, haven't you? Yeah, well, she didn't even cry, wouldn't you? Yeah, something like that. Or you'd just be mildly miserable. Yeah. Yeah. One of 16. Who, who'd want to spend their life doing that? Uh, well, you're the Newcastle fan, you tell me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh. I'm the Padres fan, so you know, yeah. it kind of goes hand in hand, doesn't it? I know. I mean, I yeah, I picked I picked the teams that I support sports wise, not not for them winning anything. I wouldn't want them to win anything. I wouldn't want them to trip over and win anything. I support when I started supporting Sussex, they were the worst cricket team around, and then some idiot decided to come in and like a couple of idiots decided to come in. So actually, no, we're going to make them successful. Yeah. Yeah. Have you ever been a fan of a team that just wins everything? No. No. Well, never. Well, there was a time where Sussex won everything, and it was just like ha- ranks, ra- ramped up the expectations, and yep. now it's just like this is rubbish. What, what am I watching this for? When actually, this is what I signed up for. <laughs> so. I think- one of the differences I've noticed as well when I first started following the bad race yeah. and how, how terrible they were, mm. it was just sort of, um, they, were, they weren't really intrusive. No. People didn't speak about them. Yeah. Whereas now that they've 
got all these new players in, and they yeah. started putting runs together. Yeah, got close last year. The Do people, the, the conversation is now. When are they going to be big? Or and that yeah. people will say, oh, they're one of the most exciting teams these days. Yeah. But then now there's a new group of people that are like, oh no, F the Padres are overrated. Yeah. And it's like, hang on. Just you do, know, just do what you do. Yeah. yeah. Can we go back to just being the, the lovable yeah. team that didn't I mean, do anything? When I chased the Red Sox, they hadn't won anything for like 500 years. And then the season that I start supporting, and they went and won the World Series. So yeah. Like, what was that, 84 years? It, it was something weirdly too long. Yeah. But, yeah. And then they won it like three or four times in about seven or eight years. And it was just like, this isn't what I signed up for. <laughs> I want to, American yeah. sports is strange because they, they, they make a big thing about like they, if you don't win something for a long time, it's always a yeah. curse. Yeah. But then it happens with teams that didn't win anything anyway. So yeah, they're, they're not cursed. They just no, shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and especially when like baseball, or football, or hockey, or you know, yeah, it's hockey, ice hockey, substandard hockey. <laughs> that yeah. you've only got thirty teams, so it only takes like four of those. Or, to put a run together yeah you know so there's there's a thing with ice hockey fans that kind of think that thinks uh, proper hockey is is uh, yeah just biased field against field hockey field hockey proper hockey is yeah. it uh, biased against left handed players because you're only allowed to use the one side of the stick okay uh, whereas in reality the top hand that gives you all your control yep. is your left hand. Okay. So yeah. if anything, it uh, yeah, it's it's good for left-handed people. It's um, like golf as well when you yeah. get the standard right hand like position of golf. Yeah. Like your right hand is the, the power arm. Yeah. And your left arm is the control arm. Yeah. And I think what's the the consensus that if you're left-handed, your right hand is the stronger arm. Yeah, well, it's just you've got more control over your right hand. Yeah, well, in cricket, in cricket, a right-handed batter is one that has the left hand at the top, and you really shouldn't bring your bottom hand, which is your right hand, which is your natural one, through. Mm. So that because if you do that, the, your bat goes up in the air and the ball goes up in the air. Okay. Um, although some of the best players do kind of whip it through with the bottom hand, but technically. It should all be top hand, so and if you time it well, that's you're going to get power anyway. So yeah, that's yeah true. power and control. So it's a pro tip. Yeah, pro cricket tip there. Yeah, brought to you by the least professional cricketer of all time. <laughs> <laughs> pro yeah. tip sponsored by yeah, pro Paco tip. Bell. Yeah, pro tips. <laughs> Isn't that a thing? Pro tips. Uh, I'm not sure. I think it's like the filters for. Cigarettes. Oh, it could roll, be. Roll ups. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. I could be making Pro that tips. Thing. Brought to you by Pro Tips. Yeah. Oh, Pro Tips hair extensions. That's the one. Pro Tips nails. Pro Tips for Fortnite. <laughs> I don't know. <sighs> yeah. Mm, yeah drop that. Um, so, what have you been up to in life just recently? Same old, really. Um, work. Yeah. Writing. Same old. Yeah. What have you been writing? Uh, pretty sure I mentioned this. Oh, the, um, uh, the, the the final fantasy yeah. stuff. How's that going? It's it's pretty good. So I've got That's to the point good. where I get given a monthly allowance or nice. quota or whatever, and yeah. I get that done before the end of the month, and I get paid. And that's nice. that's good then. A bit more flexibility than just yeah. doing one. Yeah. A week and I, well, it wasn't so much a discussion that I was having with one of my students, but my thinking was, if it was really the Final Fantasy, how come there's so many? <laughs> but do you know what? I mean, that's probably the most commented thing. Yeah. The whole time. Yeah. It's like never ending movie, isn't it? Is it never ending? T- never ending story. Never ending story. It ended. Yeah, it did. It was yeah. an end. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, there is a, a is reason that... for it. It's, it's because originally it was called 
fighting fantasy. Fighting fantasy. And that was already an existing game. Oh. And so the creator was like, well, we'll change it, but I quite like the alliteration. Yeah. So we'll just change fighting to vinyl, and that was it. Okay. But look, the, what the most common thought of uh, rumour yeah. is that it's because at the time the company was like financially screwed. Yeah. And this was seen as like the swan song. Yeah. And we've got one final game to okay. bring us out of this mess. But that was, it, was it was a commercial success. So people assume, oh, yeah, yeah. it's called that because yeah. you know, it was uh, it's a more boring explanation. Yeah. Really. And today's PS brought to you by Burger King. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, if only we had all these sponsorship deals. Yeah, meals. I know. Yeah. I still want to be sponsored by Audi. Do you know what? If, if ten years ago, if I had a bit of money, I'd have just chucked it all on Aldi yeah. shares. Because look at them now. I know. Yeah. Aldi moving, moving into electric cha- electric chairs, electric cars. <laughs> 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 on the middle aisle this week, yeah. there is the electric chair. The portable electric yeah. chair. Right. We charged in two hours. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, what about yourself? What, what's your Plans. Uh, it's just writing about uh, cricket and stuff. So, trying to get. You still got the website gig? I have, yeah. That's going well. Um, got to do a bit of, uh, yeah, a bit of Instagram stuff for them tomorrow. So that'd be cool. cool. Um, yeah, so that's going really well. I really like it. There's, it's a good, good bunch of people. I think, cool. yeah, I think I found, I think I found where I'm quite comfortable. So yeah, but it's not the same one as before. Is it? it's not the um, no, it's not the, the is it Crick, Crick Zone was it? Yeah, Women's Crick Zone. But yeah, yeah, um, but yeah, the yeah, I can understand why they they're they're an Indian site, so they're going to write for an Indian audience, which yeah, yeah, which Lincolnshire versus Leicestershire doesn't really kind of fit, but no, no. no. Um, I know they're a good. They're a good bunch. Um, so, so yeah, it's just a, a case of yeah, just trying to improve personally, trying to make sure I've got all my stats up to date, and which is taking forever. So that probably won't be done until next season, to be honest. To, to the standard that I want them. Um, yeah. I mean, I guess the kind of the stats I've got at the moment, uh, yeah, are pretty good, but. You can always go more in depth. So, so yeah, so that I can, yeah, I want to be at a point where I can go, right, well, that person does this because of blah, 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 and stuff. Mm-hmm. And I'm the one that works it out. So, it's interesting. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Well, you say it's interesting. <laughs> but yeah, I think. I mean, it more... sounds like you've just come up with like a the, the cricket algorithm. For- yeah. From scratch, so. Uh, yeah, it's, they, yeah, cricket and, I bought a book about, uh, cricket and anal- analytical think, thinking today, uh, which is quite in depth. It's got quite a lot of tables in. Um, so if, yeah, if I can offer that sort of analysis, then I think it'd be good. Um, yeah, because, because there's, lo- as with baseball, there's just loads of data. So if you can come up with a way of figuring it out, then yeah, yeah, then people are going to want to hear what you've got to say. Unlike a British baseball podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the, the worst thing about American sports stats is there's just too much of it. Yeah, like no one want, no one cares that Roger Smith is the first batter to hit home run on the. 20th birthday of Martin Luther King in <laughs> the Chase Field. It's just like, yeah. Why is, about, is, why is it about Chase Field? This is the first one I thought of. <laughs> <laughs> this is the only one that's been mentioned today. <laughs> this podcast sponsored by yeah. Wrigley Stadium. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know. Um, anything else you want to plug? Anything you do? Any websites um, you want to check out there? Anything you want to plug? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, visual gags don't work on yeah. podcasts. They don't, do they? Uh, 
Yeah. Ramis held up a uh, large neutron collider there. Yeah, hadron. It's funny. <laughs> <laughs> it's... Oh, I don't know. So, uh, yeah, anything? Uh, Twitter, Instagram, anything? No, just uh, my Twitter is at DringyPie. <laughs> <laughs> Is that still up, oh, by the way? I'm not checking. Um, it's probably two years now. Yeah, there's there's a thing where you can you can you put in your Twitter account handle and it tells you what um, what media influences that you were influenced by and yours <laughs> the drum roll yours yeah. was right smack bang in the middle. <laughs> so so yeah, apparently uh, all your all the things that you follow on uh, on Twitter isn't just one big left wing conspiracy. Crazy that's enough. interesting, yeah. Because yeah. that's wasn't the reason stuff that I followed that was yeah. knocking me. It was the stuff yeah. that was promoted to me yeah. outside of oh. anything else. Yeah. Um, the thing is, ones that I get promoted on my Twitter feed are um, look what the extra from. Series two, episode four of the Good Life um, is up to these days, and it's like, <laughs> don't care, mate. <laughs> yeah, but what are they up to these days? Yeah, but you know what I mean. It's like that low grade, D list celebrity, non entity yeah. stuff, and but no one really. No, it's just care about yeah. It's anything. just like clickbait. They'll have like a picture up on the front page, on the front of the advert, and it's like. <laughs> 24 clicks and you're still thinking hang on where, where's this where's the thing that I signed up for oh yeah yeah that yeah. sort of annoying annoyance um, you have to go through 25 pages just to get to yeah the, the thing is thing. thing is usually if you think actually that sounds quite interesting you just google it and you come up with just an article with it in. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah and uh, and yeah you've just wasted it all, yeah then that person's wasted all that money on advertising and you've just gone to the, the source. So, yeah. If any more people did that. Yes. Then we wouldn't have clickbait. We wouldn't have AdSense money. No. Or nonsense. Or nonsense. Yeah. <laughs> you won't be fucked or bombed. No. <laughs> there you go. Uh, are, we, are we done then? I think so. It's an hour and 21 minutes in. So... Can't be too long because I think that um, ransom money needs pain soon. Yes, and so. we'd like to see Thomas back. Yeah, um, I mean, there's only so much waterboarding that man can take. Yeah, I mean, we've got like his both his thumbs and uh, his right forefinger as well. <laughs> they were they were in the post, so <laughs> there's only so much blood loss <laughs> you can suffer. So. We uh, we better get this out there. And Best sort of out, haven't we? Yeah, hope that is well. Right, so yeah, um, at famous Strauss is my Twitter. Yep. Nothing else matters. So, oh, and um, at go. bullpen pod is it? At bullpen pod. Yeah, um, which we haven't updated in a million years because somebody's scared to use Twitter. <laughs> I mean, you're the head of communications. You should be. Uh, I've never been head shouting of that name from the. Rooftops. I know. Well, we'll get there. Um, on a personal note, go check out Fandom Spot, the website I write for. Yeah. Um, yeah. Deep X for cover as well. It, so. Yeah. It's, it isn't just Final Fantasy on there, yeah. it's, it's, it's a county cricket as well. Culture. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, Which is what Deep X covers is a county cricket website. So, yeah. for all your county cricket needs, and uh, domestic English cricket. Yeah, so. Do it. Get on it. Yeah. Be there. Uh, yeah. Be cuboid. Pleasure as always, everyone. Yeah. And thank you for joining us. Um, let's not leave you too long next time. No. Let's uh, tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I give it an hour. Yeah. Um, yeah. We'll probably run for the semi-finals. Let's get one done up for the semi-finals of the Euros. Yeah, sure. Let's make that commitment. Let's do it. Yeah. Let's do it. Yeah. And then get it out there for the day of the Euro semi final. That'd be good. Yeah. yeah. Sounds like a plan. So cool. Look out for that. 
and stop recording. And peace out, everybody. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I've jumped down. <laughs> yeah. Bye-bye. <laughs> yeah. Till Cheerio, the next time. Everyone. Have fun. <laughs>